Hello everyone. Welcome to the 9 plus CGP MCQ series. In this video, we will see important MCQs of unit number 3. Very simple unit is this. Divide and conquer techniques is discussed in that unit. Coming to the first question. Which technique is involves breaking down a problem into a smaller sub-problems, solving each sub-problems independently and combining their solution to solve a original problem? Option is dynamic programming, option B greedy algorithm, option C divide and conquer algorithm and last option is backtracking. Correct option will be option number C divide and conquer algorithm. Next question. What is the main idea behind the divide and conquer technique? Option A solving problem sequentially, option B solving problem iteratively, option C is solving problem recursively and last option is solving problem randomly. Correct option will be option number C which is solving problem recursively is the main idea behind the divide and conquer technique. Next question. Which problem is solved using divide and conquer technique in the context of finding the maximum survey? Option A sorting, option B search, searching, option C is matrix multiplication and last option is graph traversal. Correct option will be option number B searching. Next question, which algorithm is used to efficiently multiply large number using divide and conquer approach? Option A, quick sort. Option B, merge sort. Option C, correct suba multiplication algorithm. And last option is bubble sort. Correct option will be option number C, correct suba multiplication algorithm. Next question, what is the primary advantage of using correct suba multiplication algorithm over traditional multiplication methods? Option A, reduced space time complexity. Sorry, reduced space complexity. Option B, improved accuracy. Option C, faster time complexity. And last option is simplicity of implementation. Option C will be correct here. We use Karatsuba multiplication algorithm because the time complexity of Karatsuba multiplication algorithm is faster than the traditional multiplication method. Next question. What does FFT stand for in the context of algorithm? Option A, fast Fourier transform. Option B, fast function transformation. Option C, frequency and frequen frequency and frequency transformation. Option D, Fourier trans frequency techniques. Correct option is option A, fast Fourier transform is the full form of FFT in the context of algorithm. Next question. Which type of numbers are involved in FFT algorithm? Is it real numbers only? Option B, imaginary number only. Option C, complex number. And last option is integer number. Correct option is option number C, complex number. Next question. Guys, mo uh, before moving to the next question, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe the channel. It's really mot motivate me to make such a great video. So please do subscribe the channel. Question number 8 is, what is the primary application of the discrete Fourier transform, DFT? Option A, image processing. Option B, signal processing. Option C is data compression. Last option is database management. Correct option will be option B, signal processing is the primary application of the discrete Fourier transform. Next question. Which algorithm is used for efficiently computing the discrete Fourier transform in big O of n log n time complexity? Correct option will be option number D, fast Fourier transform. Guys, one more question can be asked. That is, what is the time complexity of Karatsu algorithm? I think that question we will discuss later. So, do not disclose the answer here. Next question, what is the main idea behind the FFT algorithm? Option A, divide and conquer. Option B, dynamic programming. Option C, greedy strategy. Option D is backtracking. Correct option will be option number A, divide and conquer is the main idea behind the FFT algorithm. Next question, which application involves using FFT for fast polynomial multiplication? Option is image compression, audio processing, data analysis, 
और फास्ट फोर ईयर ट्रांसफॉर्म ऑप्शन सी विल बी करेक्ट डेटा एनालिसिस एंड नाउ द सिमिलर क्वेश्चन इज देयर विच एप्लीकेशन इन्वॉल्व यूजिंग एफ एफ टी फॉर डेटा एनालिसिस सो फास्ट पोलिनोमियल मल्टीप्लीकेशन विल बी द एंसर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन वट इज द टाइम कम्प्लेक्सिटी ऑफ एफ एफ टी बेस्ड पोलिनोमियल मल्टीप्लीकेशन फॉर मल्टीप्लाइंग टू पोलिनोमियल्स ऑफ डिग्री एन करेक्ट ऑप्शन विल बी ऑप्शन बी डिगो ऑफ एन लॉग इन इज द टाइम कम्प्लेक्सिटी नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन वट इज द प्राइमरी एडवांटेज ऑफ यूजिंग एफ एफ टी बेस्ड एल्गोरिदम फॉर पोलिनोमियल मल्टीप्लीकेशन ऑप्शन ए रिड्यूस्ड मेमोरी यूज इज ऑप्शन बी इम्प्रूवड एक्यूरेसी ऑप्शन सी फास्टर टाइम कम्प्लेक्सिटी एंड लास्ट ऑप्शन इज सिंप्लिसिटी ऑफ इम्प्लीमेंटेशन करेक्ट ऑप्शन इज ऑप्शन सी फास्टर टाइम कम्प्लेक्सिटी वट इज द प्राइमरी एडवांटेज ऑफ यूजिंग एफ एफ टी बेस्ड एल्गोरिदम फॉर डेटा एनालिसिस ऑप्शन ए रिड्यूस्ड कंप्यूटेशनल कम्प्लेक्सिटी ऑप्शन बी हायर रिजोल्यूशन ऑप्शन सी इम्प्रूवड सिग्नल टू नॉइज रेसियो एंड लास्ट ऑप्शन इज फास्टर प्रोसेसिंग टाइम करेक्ट ऑप्शन विल बी ऑप्शन डी फास्टर प्रोसेसिंग टाइम इज द प्राइमरी एडवांटेज ऑफ यूजिंग एफ एफ टी बेस्ड एल्गोरिदम फॉर डेटा एनालिसिस नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन वट इज द की कंसेप्ट बिहाइंड द मैक्स सर्व एरे प्रॉब्लम यूजिंग डिवाइड एंड कॉन्कर ऑप्शन इज फाइंडिंग द लार्जेस्ट एलिमेंट इन एन एरे नो दिस इज नॉट करेक्ट ऑप्शन बी फाइंडिंग द सम ऑफ एलिमेंट इन द कंटिन्यूस सर्व एरे विद द मैक्सिम सम या दिस इज द करेक्ट ऑप्शन ऑप्शन बी इज करेक्ट हियर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन वट इज द टाइम कंप्लेक्सिटी ऑफ द डिवाइड एंड कॉन्कर अप्रोच फॉर सॉल्विंग द मैक्स सर्व एरे प्रॉब्लम करेक्ट ऑप्शन विल बी ऑप्शन नंबर बी बीगो ऑफ एन लॉग इन इज द टाइम कंप्लेक्सिटी ऑफ मैक्स वेर ए प्रॉब्लम इफ यू इफ वी आर सॉल्विंग यूजिंग डिवाइड इन कॉन्कर अप्रोच नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज द लिमिटेशन ऑफ करत सुबा एल्गोरिदम ऑप्शन ए इट कैनोट हैंडल नेगेटिव नंबर ऑप्शन बी इट रिक्वायर मोर मेमोरी कंपेयर टू ट्रेडिशनल मेथड ऑप्शन सी it becomes less efficient for very large number and last option is it is not applicable for decimal number correct option will be option c it becomes less efficient for very large number next question what is the time complexity of karat suba algorithm for multiplying two n digit numbers correct option will be option number c we go of n ki power log 3 base 2 is the time complexity of karatsu algorithm okay and the uh, you you may find the apps, uh, option like we go of n n to the power 1.5 at something so the uh, this is the uh, this these two term are the same we go of n to the power log 3 base 2 or we go of n to the power 1.5 something and uh, if the question is about what is the time complexity of for multiplying two n digit number if we are doing using a traditional approach then at that time the time complexity will be big of n square okay so this was all about your unit number 1 2 and 3 uh, i hope you guys have enjoyed watching the videos thank you so much for watching the videos bye bye